We begin tonight right off the top with new information about that shooting on Buffalo's east side from overnight that left a 14 year old girl dead, a 15 year old boy in stable but critical condition and four other teenagers with gunshot wounds as well. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ron Plants. Buffalo police just providing an update a few hours ago. Two on your sides, Andy Payton joining us live now outside Buffalo Police Headquarters downtown with the latest for us. Andy. Ron, that's right. Just within the past few hours behind us here at police headquarters, Buffalo police telling us that that shooter still remains at large and that this happened on Alexander Place on the east side. They say it all started around 1020 when they received reports of a noise complaint about a party at this apartment complex. They say that that quickly turned into a fight call, which they were able to escalate within about 30 minutes. But then an hour later, they were called back to the scene at about 1110 after reports of shots fired. Fired. They say they rushed to the scene and found those six teenagers shot all between the ages of 14 and 16 years old. Now, just a few moments ago, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown with a strong message for the shooter. Take a listen to this. I want to make it clear uh, to the shooters, shooter or shooters involved in this. Consider turning yourself in. If you have any conscience or any remorse that you killed a 14 year old girl, you should contact the Buffalo police and turn yourself in. Now, officials tell us that their investigation so far tells them that that fight outside the party is what led to the shooting. They also say they were able to obtain at least three handguns from that party, and they're now asking for the public's help requesting any video from last night, whether that's video surveillance or even just a snapshot of the area from last night. And Ron, despite these missing pieces at the time, officials tell us they are confident this case will end in an arrest. This is obviously still very much a developing situation and we'll be sure to report back with any new information as it becomes available. But for now, live and on your side outside police headquarters here in downtown Buffalo, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Andy. Local lawmakers sharing their thoughts about last night's fatal shooting today. The Maston District City Council member Zanetta Everhart speaking with the media about the incident. Here's some of her message. As a community, we should all be disgusted. We should all be angry. You know, like it really, it really hurts. And, you know, for me, it is about galvanizing our community and our lawmakers across the state and across the country and and our community members. Now, Councilwoman Everhart is the mother of a gun violence survivor. Her son Zaire, as you may recall, was one of the victims shot at the Topps Market on Jefferson Avenue in, on May 14th.